Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rian, and this is The Groom, and we just watched Uncle Peckerhead, which we found streaming on Amazon Prime Video. I can't believe we watched a movie named Uncle Peckerhead. So, the trailer looks decent. They cut the trailer really well, I will say that. Probably this is an them. independent film. It won a bunch of awards that I don't remember, but they did display them prominently in the trailer. Because you see those, like, little... The white cascading things. Yeah. Sundance Film Festival. I don't think it was Sundance. I don't, probably Slam not. dance, I don't know. But... <laughs> Slam dance. <laughs> uh, we watched it, and the premise essentially is a small indie punk band, I believe they were supposed to be that, is attempting to get signed by a label, do a little tour that encompasses New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania, because you notice that Philly was marked on the map, and... They quit their jobs. They are probably going to get evicted per the notice on the door. Mm -hmm. And then their van gets repoed, which is really bad timing because the tour starts literally the next day. So while trying to figure all this stuff out, the co-vocalist bass player, Judy, sees random dude in a white van. They're putting posters everywhere. And he's just like, hey, what are you doing to my van? And for some reason, this conversation goes to, hey, do you want to drive our band around? Since you just told us that you live in your van. How does that sound? Awkward. But I suppose if you have no other options, it sounds great. Unbeknownst to them, this dude turns into a demon at midnight for exactly 13 minutes. But he can control it. And his name is Peckerhead. Because that's what his father called him. That's awkward. And then he, he says, my friends call me Peck, so they're just going to go with that. Uh, yeah. So they're trying to go to all these different venues to play shows, to open, to hopefully as get to signing with a label, headlining one of the shows. The local showcase. Yes. With, what was it, the, the Queef Queens or something? Something like that. Who have their own, I, they, they sound awesome. They, they have their own label and they really want to sign with them as well or get, whatever. Indie, indie punk band stuff. Mm -hmm. That's the synopsis that I can give without spoiling anything. What did you like about this movie? The, <laughs> this movie was ridiculous. And I liked it because it was ridiculous in kind of a Shaun of the Dead way. It was funny. It was... They did a really good job of making you hate certain people. I really hated that guy with that big bull ring. Mm -hmm. God, I hated that guy. He was so pretentious. Oh my God, his music was awful. But, like, I really... I really did. Like, I really liked the... I really, I really liked Peck. Like, they, they made you love him. Throughout the entire thing, even though he turns into a murderous demon at midnight, it made you love him because he seemed like a genuinely nice guy who really just liked them. Um, my favorite moment in the entire movie was the invoice. Oh, the invoice for Plan B. Yeah. <laughs> I cracked. Oh, I laughed so hard with that. But yeah, no, th this was a fun movie. It's not going to, you know, like, it's an independent movie. It's not going to blow you away with effects. But the story's solid, you know, and the, the I thought the acting was good. The one guy really reminded me of our friend Zach. Yeah, Max. <laughs> Max really reminded me of our friend Physically, Zach. Physically, yes. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, and it was just like, I really, I actually kind of dug this movie, like, watching the trailer and i was like you know what okay i'll give it a shot and it's not like the greatest movie ever but i it was it was enjoyable and i really thought the pacing was really good i really like i didn't get bored so it was fun i had a good time what did you like about the movie i liked the premise of the movie i thought it was interesting that a demon curse has a time limit and I thought minutes. there was some sort of maybe biblical reason that it happens at midnight for 13 minutes only, like the 13th hour or something. I don't know. Um, I liked the, the drummer Mel. 
gave me a real Nichols from Orange is the New Black vibe. It's the hair. It was the hair. It was the attitude, which mm. is just like, I don't care. I don't fear death anymore. It's just so deadpan. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that it was, you know, realistic to how hard it is to struggle as an indie punk an band. indie band trying to make it on your own with literally what eleven dollars they said they had mm-hmm. pulled together. And I agree. I feel like they really did make Peck such an endearing character. Yeah, you almost forget. <laughs> you almost forget that he's gonna maybe do some bad stuff. Yeah. Um, the, the gore wasn't actually that bad. There was one scene in particular with a decapitation with a spine attached that looked pretty good. I'm yeah. pretty impressed with that. What did you not like about this movie? I mean, there's, you, you grade it on the budget of it's an independent film. Obviously the effects probably could have been a little better. You know, but honestly, I couldn't think of something I I didn't like about it. Um, I just like I couldn't figure out something like I just disliked strong enough. You know, you know what I mean. Like I love the music. The music was awesome, except yeah, the music douchebags band was awful. Yeah, but you know, like like I hated the characters because I was supposed to hate them, and you know the the only thing when peck turns into the demon it reminds me of when angel turns into a vampire on buffy <laughs> that's i accurate, couldn't accurate. get that out of my like it's the forehead yeah, yeah i couldn't the prosthetic was awful like it i think it was the way it was shot too with the lighting and oh, shadows just made the forehead so prominent cuz it's supposed to be midnight all i could think of was like david uh I was I was calling David Borealis. That's what I want to say too. No, that's yeah, because not right. of the because of the one episode of Family Guy when they see the um when they see the what's the thing in Alaska in like the sky Aurora Borealis. Yes, they, they he goes he goes oh look it's a David Borealis and it's and it's him up in the sky. Maybe it is. Before. I don't know. But yeah, no, it it like all I could think of was. All I can think of was the vampires from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Which Spike? Let's be real. Angel. Spike was pretty awesome. You know, but no, but like with the with that prosthetic. With the forehead. It's the forehead. It so it's bad. the evil angry forehead. I feel like even the Lost Boys had that angry forehead. Yes. Why? It's a vampire thing. What Apparently, it's a demon thing. Too. Apparently, yeah. The, but yeah, that I couldn't get over the fact. Like I thought, I kept thinking he was a vampire because of that. And that's what I couldn't get over. That's probably if I had to pick something, that's the that's the one thing that just kind of annoyed me. What did you not like about the movie? Um, at no point did they ever call him Uncle Peckerhead, so I don't understand why that was the t- the title of this movie. Good point. And we were debating for like thirty seconds before starting to film if it was Peckerhead or Uncle Peckerhead, but we're pretty sure it was Uncle Peckerhead. I'm so like nine, nine, I have sure. questions about that. I, is he somebody's uncle? I did feel like there were pacing issues. It's It just felt like it took a really long time between any action to get more action, to get any kind of anything other than them just either chilling in the van or it, driving in the van. It is... A- it is Uncle Peckerhead, so okay, we were good. so we were right. So I, I feel like some of that could have been cut a lot shorter. I felt like I would have liked more scenes of the demon... It's only 13 minutes. Like, just throw that in there. I'd like to you, enjoy all 13 minutes. You don't get much of a performance, too, out of them until the very end. Yeah. So, it's like, you see all these X's on the map. You see all the X's on the map, and it, they go in a circle, and they come back to the showcase where they were. And there was, like... Maybe three? Six or seven yeah. X's on there, There's and they made like maybe, three like, three stops. So, that's kind of, like... It's like uh, it's one of those things where it's. I mean, you're split. You're splitting hairs there. Cat beds in my way. Um. So what would you rate this? Maybe like. I give it like a two out of five. I did enjoy watching it. I did really like the characters. I did like that Judy demanded that her suitor pay for the plan B because that's fair. 
it's only fair. I support that. I really liked... I did actually really enjoy the music that they were playing. Mm -hmm. I liked the way that uh, Judy and Max harmonized a whole lot. And the sound was pretty solid. What did you like? Or what did you rate this? I want to go to bed. Don't listen to me. <laughs> uh, three out of five. I thought it was like a just solid average movie. You know, obviously it's sliding scale because it's a lower budget independent movie. You can tell. But it was, like like I said, I, I liked the story. I thought yeah. the story was pretty ori original. It's got the most very unique title, which is smart because that you're like, what? Mm -hmm. Let me give this a shot. So uh, bravo to them for that. But, yeah, I think it's a solid average average movie. I had a good time. You know, I didn't, I didn't hate it. But I don't think if I'm looking to watch a, a movie... I'm going to immediately pull back to this one like I would a Shaun of the Dead, like when it comes to horror com comedies. Because this is listed as a horror a Yeah, horror I comedy. feel like this would be a good bet for someone that's not super okay with a lot of gore. Yeah, because you don't see it. You mm -hmm. see Aftermath, but you don't see a lot of actual gore. You, wow. Well, like, you don't see, you don't... You they showed a bunch of it, but it wasn't, like... It wasn't... Yeah. As bad as it could have been, no. I suppose. It was more tame gore. But it yes. was still gore. It still counts. Okay. So, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? Please why let us know down movie? below. Did you also find this streaming on Amazon and you were just like, why is it called that? Because that title definitely is an attention grabber. What alternate title would you give this movie? Let us know in a comment. Like the video if you did like the video. Or you liked the video if you get confused by movie titles sometimes and just give them a watch. When you get mad when they don't say the name of the movie in the movie. He said the name of the movie in the movie. Um. <laughs> I don't remember if I said the subscribe. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. We're going to find you. You can find me on Twitch and now TikTok under Repeat Ray Animator. You can also find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray, where you'll get notifications of me going live on Twitch, where me and my dumb friends do dumb stuff playing dumb video games. It's a good time. All right. Our 13 minutes is almost up. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. I wasn't ready. You hit it when I said K. Okay. I wasn't ready.